All right, welcome back. This is video number four in the SEO fundamentals series. In this video, I wanna go over keyword research, what it is, why it's important, and especially how to do it so that you can incorporate it into your own SEO campaign or your own local service business website. In this video, I want to take you over the shoulder and do some live keyword research and show you exactly how I would go about finding keywords for a new local service business website. So let's just get right, right into it. You know we have to start off with a meme. Uh, if you watched my last video, you understand why keyword research is so important. It's the first step of any SEO campaign of, you know, it's the first step in how to rank number one in Google. Uh, but more than that, it's really the, the core of any optimization you might make to, your, to a page on your website. Without understanding what keyword you're trying to optimize for, there's no point in doing it because you're just kind of shooting blind. Uh, so let's just back up real quick and understand what, key, what a keyword is. Keywords are what people will search to find your service, your business, or your product. So then keyword research is just finding what that keyword is, understanding how to uncover that keyword and understanding what people are searching. So uh, to start, I think a good place to start here would be to just use common sense. I know it's a little bit underrated and I know it's uh, maybe a little bit funny to hear this, but sometimes because you're so in the space and you're, you're, you're so, um, you know, you, you have a certain set of words that you're using, you might not really think about what other people would search to find your services. And I think that's a crucial, crucial point to understand and to kind of comprehend. The question you should ask yourself is what would people search if they were trying to find my service? We have clients in very niche spaces where I love doing this exercise with them because it really gets them to think, okay, how would somebody search for my service? Like what, uh, you know, if they were trying to search for what they're looking for or what I provide, how would they search for it? And I think that's a great exercise to do, a great place to start with your keyword research because you'll always need that seed keyword, that main keyword that you're gonna start your research from. Um, you know, a quick example here about, about using kind of common sense and like just understanding what keyword research looks like is I, I came across a fertility, uh, a, an acupuncture website the other day and they, they, were, they had fertility acupuncture as a service, as a service that they were offering. But the, the page that they were, using to optimize this for was using the keyword acupuncture for women's issues. Uh, so I like, I know what they're, what they're trying to say because I was reading the content of the page. They were trying to offer acupuncture for fertility, but think about it. I mean, nobody's searching for this. Nobody's searching acupuncture for women's issues. Women's issues so broad. They, there, there can be so many things, right? Uh, but fertility acupuncture is direct. It's direct to the point. It's descript. So this is just what I mean. Like you might be willing to call it women's issues, but people are not searching for that. So you just need to understand what people are searching for. And then I hope this kind of uh, exercise will make sense. So once you have that seed keyword, this is how you start your keyword research, all right? Uh, there's something called search intent here that you just need to be mindful of. Search intent basically categorizes keywords into these two things. There are what I call money keywords and informational keywords. Money keywords are keywords that are transactional in nature, and those are the keywords that are really going to bring you value and a return on your investment. They're most of the time the most competitive, but hand in hand with that, they're the most profitable for your business usually. Informational keywords are more uh, just like it says informational, they're query based. So it's usually questions, uh, you know, things people might research before they hit the money keywords, but it's good to have a grasp on both. And, you know, eventually you're going to be covering both sets of keywords through your SEO campaign, but it's good to understand that there's a distinction between both when you're doing keyword research. So that way you're just not targeting the wrong type of keyword. All right. And then, here are a list of actual tools that you'll need to do keyword research. And I think there's a great meme here bringing this point home. You can do the keyword research without special tools by just searching on Google and guessing as to whether or not that keyword will, will bring you uh, any traffic. 
But in order to do competitive keyword research the correct way, you need some tools. There are free tools in here like Uber Suggest, Answer the Public, which are both Neil Patel's tools. I think if you type in Uber Suggest, you can kind of get an idea of what it is. It says free keyword research tool. You can enter in a keyword or a domain here and get some statistics. But if you're really trying to do real keyword research, I would suggest any one of the three key keyword tools up here, SEMrush, Ahrefs, or my favorite keywords everywhere. And uh, I'll show you just in a second how to use them. But really what you're looking for information-wise from these tools are things like traffic um, and competition and, 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 and variations of that keyword, keyword suggestions so that you understand the breadth of what people might be searching for when they're searching for that specific keyword. So let's, let's get into it. I think, um, continuing from the last video, we'll use, uh, the dentist as an example. So let's say we are creating a website for a dentist in New York city. Obviously the C keyword I would start with here would be dentist, New York city. All right. And you can see right away, we get some stats from Ahrefs. It's a very hard, diff, you know, very hard keyword to rank in for the top 10. It shows you the volume. They have other metrics like traffic potential and global volume. Uh, they also give you the SERPs here so you can kind of see the stats of the websites that are already ranking so you know what your competition is looking like. Uh, you know, these SEO tools, just to back up real quick, these SEO tools, what they provide is an overview per website how you're performing on an SEO level and they give you all this data. So, you know, to have this data is invaluable when you're doing this kind of research. And that's why I always recommend you need to have one of these tools. All right. Um, so, okay. So let's say dentist New York city is, is my C keyword. We're going to start with this, but, but before we start with this, let's just take a second here. I'm in New York city. If you're in New York city, you know, you know what I mean here. Even from a logical standpoint, and this is what I mean, but you know, you just got to use common sense a little bit. I think people are not going to be searching New York City specific. They're not going to be spelling this out because it's just more letters to type when you're searching something. And a lot of people are going to usually be searching something NYC, like dentist NYC. All right. So logically, I think this is another variation that I should test. And you should always test variations if you think there will be kind of different different results. To, to, you know, to us, to you and I, New York City and NYC might be the same thing, but to Google and the search engines, to the robots, these are two actually different keywords and this is how you can tell. So uh, you can see Dentist New York City has a volume of 150 searches and this Dentist NYC has a volume of 2,200. Now, any keyword tool, the volume estimates are going to be rough, rough estimates. You can't take them for face value. I've come across keywords that say, that say they have, you know, a hundred search volume and they end up being super profitable keywords. So the search volume should not be taken as, you know, uh, the, the final say, but it's great for relative comparison. So, uh, you can see if this, if this, if this tool who's basing this volume on the same exact metrics is saying this is 150 and this is 2.2 K, you know, that dentist NYC is probably the higher traffic keyword, the higher volume keyword. So if I were to start optimizing the website, I would make sure that I'm optimizing for dentist NYC first. And here's a good way to test this out. Okay. So if you type in dentist, New York city, for example, and then type in dentist and NYC, you might have different results. Like, so even key so keywords everywhere. If you've watched my videos, you know, you could, this is the, this is the tool keywords everywhere. You could see that we have 1300 searches a month for dentist, New York city. And then dentist NYC is 4,400 searches a month. So again, right in line with Ahrefs, the, the numbers are different, but relatively it's the same kind of ratio, right? The same comparatively, it's the same ratio. So Dentist NYC, we have, again, different results even. So New York Dental Office is first here. Uh, 209 NYC Dental is first. And, uh, you know, New York Dental Office doesn't even show for dent Dentist NYC. On the organics, it's uh, Hello Tend, which looks like, um, you know, maybe it's a, it's a, it's actually a denti dentist office. It is. So Dentist NYC, the Tend is the first, um, result. And then for dentist, New York city, it's 
209 dental. So even the results are different. Uh, and this just goes to show, it's a great, great example to show you need to do your research and understand what people are searching for. Because if you've optimized for New York City spelled out, you might be missing out on NYC, which is much more profitable in this case, since there's more people searching this. And even here, you can see City Dental NYC is showing up for this keyword, but it's not showing up for Dentist NYC. All right, so th this was a great exercise, a great example of why you should t kind of test variations. Again, just use a little bit of your brain um, into, into getting that seed keyword and then understanding what keyword you should use. These tools are super helpful, and, and if, you're, if you're trying to do this keyword research, you should invest in some. Um, excuse me, so now that I have my key, key keyword, my primary keyword, I'm gonna go for Dentist NYC. I just wanna make sure what other keywords people might be searching so that I can get some ideas as to some keywords maybe I want, to, other keywords I want to target. All right, the name of the game is to target as many keywords that fit your services uh, that you know people are searching for so that you can optimize for those keywords. So if I look, look down this list, I see Dentist NYC, maybe Dentist in NYC is another one that I should be optimizing for. Best Dentist NYC is something that I should be optimizing for. And if you look here, Tend, right, they have some of these in place, right? Uh, 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 where is it? Um, top rated dental team, for, for instance. So. Uh, best dentist in New York City, 209 NYC Dental is doing a great, great job, right? They have NYC in the in the title tag as well. Um, but yeah, so these are variations I would then include and craft into my title tag, into my H1. We'll get into site structure and on-page SEO in a different video, but using this keyword research, I would then create a list, uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a, or a short list of all the keywords I would include per page and then figure out how to include those keywords, all right? Um, moving down, moving down the list, I see like emergency dentist NYC. And then if I'm building this site, uh, as a dental office, I'm like, Oh, Hey, I, I provide those kind of services. I might include that as a different page and a different keyword because they're obviously, you know, two different keywords, two different search intent. Someone's looking for dentist NYC and some, somebody looking for emergency dentist NYC are looking for two separate different things. So I would not try to stuff all these keywords into one page. I would then, you know, separate it out and understand which keywords I need on which page. Um, holistic dentist NYC is another one. Cosmetic dentist NYC. So now you're getting some ideas as to how you should categorize and structure your pages, right? So this is why um, keyword research is imperative before building your site, so that you know how to structure your site and what keywords and what pages need to go go where. Um, yeah, so this is this is a good one. New York City cosmetic dentist. Let's sh let me show you how keywords everywhere everywhere looks. All right, so dentist NYC is the key seed keyword we're going to be using. They're going to have different suggestions here, but I would again take these suggestions, know which ones are informational, which ones are transactional, which ones are money keywords. Uh, like dentist NYC salary, obviously informational. Dentist in Queens, Dentist Manhattan, Dentist Staten Island are obviously money keywords. They're looking for a dentist in that specific area. Um, best Cosmetic Dentist NYC. And then if I wanted to build this page for cosmetic dentistry, I would I would go in here and I'll start doing some more keyword research like this. Just drill down and just have this you know, recurring loop of just doing more and more keyword research just to get more information. All right, so... Uh, that's that's dentist NYC. I'll just drive another point home. Let's say NYC painters is the keyword that is our main keyword that we're looking for. Again, if you know if you know me, you know who I am. I you know I run SohoPainters.com. Uh, this is how I did the keyword research for that website. And I'm just I'm just showing you exactly how I did it and how I structured the website. So look, so we have NYC painters um, and then commercial painters NYC. NYC painters actually a funny note here. It's 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 a kind of a tricky keyword because NYC painters could be paint people searching for painters in New York City and actually painters NYC and painters in NYC is a, a much more direct search intent keyword because NYC painters could also be people searching for famous New York City painters, right? Famous painters in New York City. So 
search intent, again, this is why it's important. You just have to understand that and understand what people are searching for. And that you, once you understand that, you'll get keyword research much better and, uh, and, and understand what you're looking at. So, so look, NYC painters, the key keyword we're looking for. And then, uh, you know, just to drive the point home, let's say NYC painters, we search for it. We're here, we're optimized. We do painters NYC, again, different keywords. But we're optimized here. We have painters in NYC optimized. We're here. And then just going down the list, this is how we structure the website. So we, I, I, I found that, okay, people are searching for commercial painters NYC. They're not looking for, you know, business painters or like uh, office painters or whatever the case. They're looking for commercial painters. So that was the keyword that we optimized for. We're, we're showing here commercial painters NYC. Apartment painters NYC apartment painters was another one, right? So most of the time you'd be looking at residential painters or house painters or something like that. But in New York City specifically, it's apartment painters. That's really big. So again, we're optimized for NYC apartment painters. Um, interior painters, NYC. So there's exterior, interior, obviously. But again, more than residential is probably more interior painters that they're looking for. Again, we're optimized for that. Uh, professional painters, NYC, we're optimized for that. So you get the idea here. As I go down this list, as I'm doing more and more keyword research, again, I can drill down and find out more keywords I should be optimized for. But um, then after understanding what keywords people are searching for, I'm then inserting that into my site, into my site structure, so that, that, my, that my specific pages are showing up for those specific keywords. Whew. So I, uh, I, <laughs> I hope this was valuable. I. Um, you know, this is exactly how I would do keywords research for any local service business. If you found value in this, just leave a comment below saying keyword research. It would really help with the uh, SEO, uh, YouTube SEO algorithm. But if you found value in this one, um, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.